Hello there, my name is Ismaus and today we're going to be looking at uh, how I made uh, this city here, uh, this city scene in Blender uh, 2.8. Uh, so yeah, if you want to watch the entire time lapse uh, from start to finish, how I made that, you can just go to my second channel, Top Channel 101, and uh, watch uh, that video there. Uh, but uh, this is going to be a run, a quick run through of, how, of the process, uh, so let's get started. I can open up a new Blender project, add a plane, uh, scale it to the size of the, the city you want, and uh, then add some subdivisions. Uh, this is where the the different buildings are going to be distributed and uh, if you want uh, to have roads in there you can watch how uh, the shortcuts i'm using here you can select a road say you want this to be our main road i can select that and uh, maybe you, ha you want another road here go to object data and add a vertex group assign uh, those selected uh, vertices to that group and if you want say a diagonal road here i can select that vertex and uh, maybe this vertex hit j to connect those and then ctrl b at bevel that to bevel that into uh, the size of the road you want and also assign that uh, to the vertex group uh, you can also add a material uh, to that so that they look a bit different so that the road uh, looks different from the ground so let me just add a different material here now i can go to the vertex group i uh, go to edit mode i uh, select all the vertices uh, that you want assign uh, then go to the material tab and assign uh, the road material so now let's start working on the buildings so uh, for the buildings we are you can create the buildings uh, the way you want them again you can watch uh, the time lapse on my second video my second channels to see how i made the buildings but i'm just going to do a few shapes here just to represent our buildings duplicate this so what you want to do is have all the buildings you want to have in your city uh, under a collection. So I'll just select them and M hit M. I'll call uh, the collection called uh, buildings. Builds. Uh, you can make several versions of them so that you don't have, so that you have a lot of vari variations. Yeah. So let's say those are our buildings. Uh, now we can. Uh, apply the materials you want to the buildings and textures and now to distribute them on our uh, on our terrain or ground i just go under the particle system create a new particle system uh, make sure that it's a type of emitter sorry type of hair and uh, now you go to the render settings and uh, make sure that uh, to render as collection now you can select uh, the collection you have set uh, buildings and you can see right now the orientation is a bit off uh, let me turn on random colors here so that we can see yeah you see the, the orientation is a bit off so you can go under you can turn on advanced and then rotation and play with the rotation until you get uh, the orientation until you get the right orientation you can see what we have and uh, you can see some of the buildings are intersecting with the ground what you uh, the reason is what is causing that is that uh, <coughs> all these this building are uh, instance or spawn from uh, the the center here of the object so what you want to do is uh, select all the buildings and make sure that the pivot point is at the bottom is at the bottom of uh, the building and uh, if you can s if you look at here you can see that uh, as i move these up uh, the buildings are also extending so that they are not intersecting <coughs> now i want to have some variation in the height of the building so you can go under uh, I think it's under render and uh, randomize uh, the scale a bit increase the scale maybe even as well and uh, if you want say you want this type of building more I uh, can just go under the render collection and use count uh, that that way you can uh, increase uh, the ratio of uh, this building uh, to the rest of the building so uh, so under count you can see that uh, we have all the uh, all the assets how uh, we have for our collection and uh, i think this is building called uh, cube 01 i'm um, name them the properly so that you can easily find them uh, so this is cube 01 and i, I can increase how how many times uh, this appears by just increasing the count you can see now we have more than that so i would not recommend you to do this a lot because uh, then you will have a lot of duplicates and you can see how you can reduce uh, the amount of this building appearing or you can just increase these other buildings to appear more often than these buildings you can see that uh then don't forget ab about the roads remember we added some roads uh, right now you can see the buildings are also spawning uh directly on top of the roads which we don't want so to to remove them from that 
uh, you can just go under under the uh, vertical system and scroll down until you see uh, field weights uh, actually it's called uh, vertex groups and the under density uh, add the group uh, for the uh, for the for the roads uh, right now you can see that uh, now instead of the buildings not spawning uh, from the roads they are doing the opposite of what we want so we just click on this uh, icon here to do the opposite now you can see that uh, all the buildings are spawning outside uh, the roads uh, you see that uh, we are also having an issue where some buildings are still intersecting with the roads so what we can do here is uh, also select these faces closer or oh, let me just go closer to the roads so just go to the vertex group and select the group and hit plus uh, to increase so you, you may also want to select uh, the faces around uh, the buildings or just increase uh, the selection or you, what you can do is just select this hit insert so that this this uh, selection now we have is the actual uh, road and uh, the other side is not the road so and you can assign this as a different group and uh, create a different material so this would be uh, the first uh, layer is going to be our pavement and uh, maybe uh, let's create another road material make it a bit darker and that uh, now you can increase the selection and assign this the entire row to this now you can see that uh, the building are now extend uh, are not going through uh, the roads uh, some are but uh, I guess you can design uh, the buildings uh, maybe scale them down a bit so that they don't they don't uh, go through uh, the buildings uh, or you can also use a uh, vertex painting uh, to remove some of those buildings that are going through the roads and uh, the way you do that I uh, just make sure that you're selecting the right group and go to vertex paint sorry weight paint not vertex and uh, p start painting out uh, the areas you don't want to to have uh, roads let's see uh, the problem right now is that uh, I don't have enough uh, resolution in my mesh so you might want to subdivide it a little bit uh, so that you can can see this building is intersecting oh, then you paint again so that they stay away from the roads see this here and paint that so that they are away from the road yeah something like that yeah so that's how I did that and uh, let me see how long has this gone I think that's it for the most part. Everything else is just creating more buildings and texturing them, uh, redistributing them around. You can see the roads and everything. Uh, yeah. So most of the work is uh, just designing these buildings, uh, these different buildings, adding a few details. You can watch the time lapse and see how I did these. Added this. And uh, the the great thing about this uh, way of of working is that uh, say I copy. So I wanted maybe to use already these buildings that I've already had, I've already designed. I can just copy them, paste them here. Oh, where are they? Okay, here. The textures are still compiling. And to add them to our, to add them here, all you have to do is select them, add them to the group, of buildings that you are using for the that you're using for rendering here uh, for the particle system and uh, make sure you refresh uh, this use count and you can see now yeah so our buildings are a bit uh, too too large so I can reduce the scale just a bit uh, and you can see so I can also if you wanted let me first remove these buildings So if you, whenever you create a new building, as long as it's in this collection, collection, say I design a new another building here. Uh, it will just be added uh, to the 
instancing out of the particle system you have. If, and if you don't see it, just go under uh, the use count and refresh that so that uh, the particle system is, up, is updated. Uh, so yeah, that's how you do it. Uh, I hope you found this useful. I'll see you in the next uh, video. And uh, another tip for you, if you don't want, say, the look of the city and you want a, a different uh, distribution of uh, the particles or buildings, you just go under uh, the seed value here, under emission. You can see you can iterate between different yeah, distributions. Right? So thank you for watching. See you in the next video.